my dear juniors i hope you all are fine with the places of god myself priyanka sarkar and in this video i will be discussing all the diagrams of biodiversity and conservation chapter number 15 so let's start with the first diagram what it is representing it is representing a global biodiversity pros- proportionate number of species of a large taxa of plant invertebrates and vertebrates by which the very first uh, we have invertebrates and uh, this having largest amount the largest proportion it is having insect then after that other animals then mollusk and then crustaceans similarly in case of a vertebrate the maximum i mean 50% of the grub is uh, consumed by fishes and uh, they are after by birds then by reptiles amphibians mammals the third one the third one the majority of the portion of the grub is consumed by the fungi uh, fun, fun, fungi and uh, then the angiosperm and uh, they are after by algae mosses ferns and uh, alliles and then the last lichens so these are the proportions the second is 15.2 which is showing the species area relationship note that log scale the relationship become linear now it is showing two type of graph it is showing two kind of graph the first graph is log the first graph is a straight line and the second one is a little bit of curve which is represent s is equal to c a z And the second was the second one is representing log s is equal to log c plus z log a. The second one is representing log s is equal to log c plus z log a. Log log s is equal to log c plus z log a. And the and this one the curve curvical one is representing s is equal to c a z. Where where this s is species richness, a is area, z is slope of the line regression coefficient, and c is y intercept. And this z value ranges from it uh, ranges it ranges regardless of the taxonomic group or the region okay, so that's all for this video we will discuss the uh, diagrams of chapter 16 in the next video thank you everyone